I kind of feel like my life is a cluster F right now. Like, I love being home in Minnesota, but it's just weird not being in my routine. Know what I mean? Like, haven't had as much time to work out as I wanted to, and just busy a lot, haven't been getting much sleep lately, with birthdays and weddings, like, bleh. yeah, I went to bed at 5 a.m. last night, and so I'm a little out of it today. I'm like, Coo -coo 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 -coo. But Miss Lola needs to go to the vet. I need to take her for her pre-surgical exam. Um, basically, when I was brushing her teeth, I noticed she had a couple loose teeth in the back and they don't look good. So I'm paying to get some dental work done and she needs to be seen before to get a heartworm test and to make sure that she's like healthy and she can have surgery and I feel really bad I feel like I was a bad mom because I didn't see her teeth back there and now they're loose but I read on the internet that chihuahuas are really really prone to dental problems so maybe it's not my fault I just I love my animals so much you know so <sighs> yep gotta take Lola to the vet Lola do you need your teethies fixed I gotta fix your teethies but they gotta make sure you're okay first I know, baby. Mariachi, you're a very good, supportive dog. Thank you for, you know, give Lola words of encouragement in doggy language. <laughs> Lola. Doggies. Doggies. And Lola, I guess you're still a little fat. So we have to keep running. You're not very fat, you're just a little fat because you're so small. So you should be a little bit lighter. So we'll just keep running. Miriachi, you are an intention stealer. So Lola's heartworm negative, which is good, but I wasn't really worried about that because heartworm isn't that big of a problem out in California. But I guess legally in Minnesota, they can't do a surgery unless they come back with a negative heartworm test first. So that's why I had to get that done here. Um, Lola's going back in tomorrow to get her surgery done. And the vet said that I wasn't a bad mom. <laughs> she said that I'm a good mom. She's like, most people have no idea what's going on in their dog's mouth. So she's like, you are very observant. So pat on the back for me. But I'm glad it's going to be getting uh, getting taken care of. Um, she'll probably have to get those teeth pulled in the back. Well, she is going to get those teeth pulled in the back and then everything clean. So this morning, I dropped Lola off at the vet to get her surgery done. And my alarm didn't go off, which really sucked. But luckily, I woke up like 10 minutes before I was supposed to be there. So I was like, ah, got to go, rolled out of bed and dropped her off. So little Lola got her teethies out today. And um, my brother and I are on our way to the vet to go pick her up and my poor baby's gonna be all groggy and on drugs but she's getting some painkillers and antibiotics sent home with her but she should be good she probably feels so much better now because I imagine it would be like people like if you have teeth problems it might hurt a little bit when you eat and stuff so she's probably gonna feel a lot better soon oh my poor baby I got her home but she's all drugged so she's just gonna sleep probably for the rest of the day. But they said you did so good, my Lola. And I hope you start feeling better soon because I love you so much. But you know what they told me? Lola's gonna lose all her front teeth eventually. They said it's just a problem with the small breed dogs and it happens all the time that she has bone loss. They said that they left the teeth in because it doesn't bother her, but they're a little loose down there and eventually they'll all come out one by one. Lola's gonna be a toothless chihuahua. And I asked them, I'm like, well, is there anything I could do? Do you think we could save them if I just keep brushing very religiously? Or can I give her calcium supplements to pump up those bones? And they said, no, it's just a problem with small breed dogs that they just, they lose their teeth, they suffer from bone loss, but they said it doesn't bother her and she's gonna be as happy as ever. She's gonna be, you know, a healthy, fine dog. She's just gonna miss, be missing a few teeth. Well, so here is the bag the vet gave me. She has medicine in there. It actually needs to be refrigerated, so I'm gonna put it in there. Refrigerator! My mom's fridge is stuffed. So I have to start giving Lola her medicine later tonight. And look at this. They gave me her teeth. They, that's Lola's teeth in there. Can you see it? So 
I don't know if, like, maybe I should put them under the pillow for the tooth fairy or something. But I have Lola's teeth. Poor Mariachi. He just wants to say hi to Lola so bad. But I figured Lola should be alone. You know, she should rest. So I have her, you know, all comfortable and shut off in my bedroom. So she needs to rest up for a little while. All right, so I have Lola all cuddled up with my little brother. I asked him to cuddle with her to help keep her warm because um, anesthesia can lower your, the uh, dog's body temperature a little bit, so she might be a little chilly. So I'm like, have her under the blankets, keep her nice and toasty. And uh, I borrowed my mom's car today so that I could take Lola to the vet and my mom is getting off work. So right now I'm driving downtown to pick up my mom from work. I just met up with my mom and we decided to get some dinner together as kind of a pre-birthday celebration. And um, we're at this Indian place called Japani in my hometown. And I, uh, this is one of my favorite places to eat. And I still haven't been here yet, so now I get to cross this off the list. <laughs> So here's my lovely mother, and we got some awesome naan here that's stuffed with cheese and raisins and nuts. It smell good? Mm. And I forgot what this was called. Picari? Paneer picari? English. I think it's something like this. Now I get a delicious Indian meal. And now my chicken korma is here. I love chicken korma, man. I need to find a place in California that has chicken korma like here. Still haven't found it yet. It's never quite the same. I don't know if I'm just kind of, you know, if it's just because it's my hometown that I have it all hyped up and when I try it somewhere else I'm like, meh. <laughs> you found one in um, Amsterdam. I know, you mm -hmm. talked about this last time. Okay, we, that you, was the first yes, one that yes. I had and I loved it there. But it's different in California. I, I know we went there twice or three times every night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to go to Amsterdam. Anyone want to buy me a plane ticket to Amsterdam for my birthday? <laughs> I'm totally kidding, but I need to go back at some point. I need to visit my family in Germany at some point again, too. It's been a long time. I haven't been there since I was 17, but we fly into Amsterdam. That's how my train of thought is working. We always fly to Amsterdam and then drive because my family lives in southern Germany. My mom and I are in aisles right next to each other that we need to be. So dinner was delicious as always. Chapatis is amazing and we're stopping at the grocery store real quick because my mom needs a graduation card because we're gonna stop at a grad party before we head home and I need to get Lola wet food the vet told me that she can only eat wet food while it's better for her and easier on her for about a week while her teeth are healing so I don't have any wet food at my mom's house so we're just gonna buy some here get a funny one I'm trying graduation but I always see birthday they're here, this says laughs. No, graduation or year, Yeah, laughs. birthday, birthday. Oh. That's they the do joke. all say birthday. That's the joke. That's the joke. <laughs> Get it? Graduation, just kidding, birthday. Yeah, that is weird. Look at that, graduation. Birthday for her. <laughs> Still having a hard time finding graduation cards. But actually, at dinner tonight, something made me feel kind of good about myself because I'm turning 25 tomorrow and I have a little bit of a complex about being a quarter century tomorrow. And the waiter said that I, I ordered a glass of red wine with my dinner and the waiter said that he needs to see my ID because I look really young. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that's so nice of you. And he's like, no, I mean it. So I don't know if my mom paid him, but I was like, oh, thank you. I'm turning 25 tomorrow, so that made me feel good about myself. Okay, dog food time. Actually, I'd like to get her, what is good dog food that comes from the grocery store? Like, I would want to go to Petco and get her something a little fancy schmancy, you know? But all I'm seeing is, oh, well, I'm sure she'll still like it. The, our dog's like Beneful. Beneful's all right. I mean, these dog foods look good. I'll figure something out. It's just for a week. Well, Lola's eating her pate, so that's a good sign. She's okay with eating the soft food. I tried to wet her hard food earlier and she spit it out. But now she's eating, so it's a good sign. She seems to be feeling better. 
We're back from the graduation party and I need to give Lola her antibiotics before I go to bed. I already gave her her pain medication earlier because I wanted to get that in her. Because I remember when I got my teeth out, I took my pain medication right away and I called the vet and they said that I could do that immediately. So now she just needs her antibiotics. She gets it every 12 hours. So I'm going to go get it out of the fridge. Hey, Lola. You need your antibiotics. Mm, sorry, I got it on your pillow, Mom. I'll clean it up. Yum, yum. Oh, it's pretty good. I remember when I had antibiotics, it used to taste like bubble gum. I wonder if yours tastes like bubble gum. Okay, I gotta get a paper towel and clean this up. You're such a good girl. Oh, I won't give you any more medicine. You're all done for the night, baby. Look at her, she looks away like, no more. <laughs> no more, but you're gonna get all better. Well, I'm glad I got that taken care of, and I hope Lola feels lots better soon. She's already starting to, to come around a little more and seem like she's doing better. I'm excited for my birthday tomorrow, but we're not gonna do anything too crazy because, man, Lola's surgery was a chunk of change, let me tell ya. Sometimes I feel like it's more expensive to have pets than kids. I know that's not true, but still, like, Lola's surgery was $500, and now I guess Kenobi's having some problems. Um, he's having trouble peeing, so I guess John has to take him to the vet, and I think Thor is going to get checked up. Because ticks, uh, we're scared that it has something to do with the ticks. John's pulled a ton of ticks off Kenobi. Like, the ticks are absolutely terrible in Minnesota because it's been so rainy and wet, and I guess they just thrive in the mo moisture. So he needs to get frontlined and then see what's wrong with his peeing problem. And yeah, we're still going to go out and do a little something for my birthday, but just nothing too crazy. Well, I am about to go to bed, so I'm going to wrap things up. Always remember, guys, that I love you, and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah!